Hey party people, welcome back to Web Squadron. This is one of those areas that I have to admit I have sometimes found a little bit tricky. There's guides out there, there are other videos as well, but I often find that I watch them and I kind of go, huh? I still don't get it. I'm talking about the difference between pixels, EM, REM, and VW. I just want to get out there right now that um, there's going to be different schools of thought and there's going to be lots of people that say we need to be using REM more, which is more relative, and less on pixels, which is absolute if you're trying to build responsive websites. But I just want to show you the difference between pixels and EM, okay? Because I was experimenting a bit and I didn't find much difference between EM and REM, but I'm just going to show you pixels and EM, okay? Um, so... By the way, VW is used more for when you have like a section or a column or something like that where you're just trying to set the height of something. Anyway, let's just focus on pixels and EM. So on the screen right now, we have some example text. And what I've done is I have set, um, I've basically done almost like three different sizes just to get across what happens when we start to view uh, a website on a relatively big screen and then when we shrink it down to a mobile. By the way, I am using a MacBook um, Air, the M1, which is a super machine, okay? So this is just a MacBook Air screen, okay? So I'm not on a big 32-inch monitor or anything like that, okay? So what we have here is uh, we have uh, three headers, and this one is set to EM2, EM3, and 1.5. And let me just show you that. So when I go over here, and I go to the typography, um, it is just set to a size of 3 for EM. So this is 1.5, which is basically going to be half of the EM3, whereas that is EM2, which is going to be about two thirds of the EM3. Okay, this will all become clear in a moment. Below, we then have the same text, but this time I've set it using pixels and I've tried to get it roughly to exactly the same size. Yes, there is a big red section in here and that's just because when we view it, that will become a thin line, it's an empty section. Web Squadron here, uh, 41 pixels, 59 pixels, and 29. So if we go here, we go to this size, it is 59 pixels, okay? It is absolute, all right? Remember that. So when we view this, okay, as a screen, there we have the red line going across the middle. They look roughly the same, don't they, in terms of sizing? So not much more we can say about that. Okay, what then happens if I was to view this in, in incognito? Okay, so let's just go to an incognito window. Let's take the address and we'll go to new window and we'll just type sizes. Okay, so when we're in the window, we can see both types of text, the EM and the pixels, and they're looking okay. Now, when I start to shrink, pay attention to the ones that are EM at the top. Okay, let me just move the screen there a little bit. Just pay attention, watch. They are gonna start to very slowly shrink. So eventually, when we get down to roughly a mobile view, the text over here is still the same size. Look, if I move this to over here, look, it's still the same size as what we had before. So the bottom area, the three lines of text, there's no change in sizing. And what you end up having to do then is that when you start to look at your website in a tablet or a mobile view, you end up going over here. Say, you know, when you're looking at your, your website, you go, oh, damn, that's too big. And you go to style, you go over here and you start messing around going, oh, OK, we'll make it 20, 21, 24, whatever. And you start to lose a little bit of what was the styling you had before in the desktop mode. Let me just undo that. OK, go back to the incognito window, which is there it is. OK, right. But, but what we then have is in the top section, it has kind of kept them in relative relation to one another. So we still we can still see we have big text, medium text, smaller text, and it's kept it re relatively simple and it is still easy to read. And I just wanna make the point, I love making points. If I go over here and change this styling for the smaller one to be, I mean, look, I'm gonna be go a bit crazy and go for one. This is really silly now what I'm doing, but I just wanna make the point. Okay, if I go back over to my incognito window and I just uh, refresh that, okay, that is now the smaller text we see there. But watch what happens now when we shrink it. I mean, that is now quite small, but it is still in relation to the two lines above over here 
and it is still readable, I think. You know, I mean, that's going to be close to, I reckon, about 16, 15, roughly-ish, if you did it as pixels. So with pixels, great, it's fine, you know what you're getting, but then when you do it in tablet and mobile view, you've got to modify each section, whereas you do it in EM, when you start to work in responsive mode, it responds. Okay, look, I'm really sorry. Yes, I'm not going to town or go starting to go into REM or um, anything like that. And that's just because I didn't really, I mean, when you start to do that, you then have to mess around with the values a bit more. But it kind of works in the same kind of context. So I just stuck with EM just because I'm kind of a bit used to that at the moment. But look, I hope that helps you to kind of maybe move away from just doing things in pixels and maybe using EM or REM a little bit more. Um, I hope I get a like. I hope you subscribe and take care and I'll see you soon.